Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and in today's video, we are going to be working on these super detailed and super creepy alien butterflies from the awesome, awesome show, Peacemaker. These are butterflies from Project Butterfly. So I meant to have this video out a couple weeks ago, but something happened, I don't know if you saw it on some of the social media posts I made, uh, you can follow me, links below. Um, I fractured my elbow and uh, it's out of the sling and everything and I'm, I'm doing PT and I'm actually able to uh, straighten my arm out a little bit better. Uh, it's not, I guess, all the way there uh, without uh, it hurting too, too much. It still hurts quite a bit, but I can at least straighten my arm out a little bit. I can move my fingers better. Uh, these two fingers were pretty screwed up because of where it was on the elbow. It was like a constant funny bone, very tingly and numb. Uh, but it's getting better. Bad thing is I can only lift about 10 pounds with it, if that. I'm not supposed to lift any more. And uh, doctor's orders. And it hurts if I try to, so I, I don't. Uh, so some of the other projects are probably going to have to get pushed back, but I am still trying to do as much as I can because, you know, this is a creative outlet for me. I enjoy it. Uh, uh, but it just hurts. It hurts a lot. But it's getting better every day. So what are we working on today? These are, spoiler alert ahead if you have not watched it, these are butterflies, alien butterflies from Peacemaker, one of my favorite shows, superhero shows that has been on in a long time. I love Peacemaker. It's on HBO Max. These models are super cool, super detailed, and I had so much fun printing them and putting them together and painting them. So if you are interested in printing out these super detailed and really creepy cool looking models from Peacemaker, head over to my website, 3dprintedprops.com, where during Pride Month, you get 30% off all files. So that's right, you can get 30% off these great models and print them up yourself. So let's go ahead behind the fake wall and get started. So I printed this out on my Elegoo Saturn with Sierra Tech resin, and you can see the detail on this is just so awesome. But it does need a little bit of cleanup, even though, look at that. Oh, I love resin printing. But to clean it up, we're not going to have to do a lot. We're going to hit it with a little 400. We're going to use some of these files and a little bit of glazing spot putty. Now, I'm going to first take off some of the support areas, and then I'm just going to, again, hit it with this 400. Links below on everything I used for this model. Uh, just a little bit of work. It's all it really needed, and that's really great because I've been sanding way too much lately. Now, sometimes when you're doing with things with these models, you've got to clear out some of the keyhole areas where things fit together, and even then, we're going to have to do a little bit of work later on. You can see here, it doesn't quite fit all the way. Part of it's because there's just some, you know, residu uh, residual sort of resin in there, and it's made the hole shallower. So I'm just going to sand this down a little bit, sand the sides, just so we can make this thing fit. It's not like this is a resin model kit that's, you know, you're, you're printing things out, and it's going to have to do a little bit of tweaking to make things work. Now, I'm using this glazing compound, which I love, and I'm using these little, um, I think it's just pretty much clay tools, so they're really, really smooth, and they work well. Now, I got a little bloop here. It's, a, it's from the support, and I almost made a huge mistake. Get rid of those things. Too big. I'm just going to use a little bit of sandpaper and just go super easy with it. Now, the next thing we do is we go ahead and we clean off the glazing compound and I'm going to use this Tamiya primer. I love this stuff. Look at this thing. It is just like glass after you use that. We don't need to sand afterwards so this fine primer is the way to go. Now I mixed up this sort of bonish yellowish color uh, and you can see a little bit in the reservoir there and I'm just giving everything a once over before we start putting it together. And this is kind of tricky because, you know, these pieces are so fine and fiddly, but uh, you just got to hold it a little bit to make things work. And sometimes you can use some accelerator. I'm going to show that in a little bit uh, when you can get in there. When you're putting it together yourself, sometimes it's hard. Here I was able to hold it like this. And this is an accelerator. And if you never used it, it is awesome because you give it a couple squirts on that uh, super glue and it just bonds it. It solidifies it and you're done so we're just putting this guy together and you can see it just looks creepy it looks cool i love the pose on this thing it is just amazing so now we're going to go ahead and put on some of its arms and some of the other little details i'm just going to let it dry now now it's uh, adding some color to this guy and 
I really wanted to try something different here. So I'm using this clear lacquer uh, and I'm just smudging it around with my fingers. I want it to be translucent. I don't want it to totally cover it. Uh, I, I'm moving it around with my fingers because remember this is an this is an insect, and I want an organic look to it. So I'm just sort of blopping it on there and sort of brushing it in places, and then I'm just wiping it with my finger. Now we're going to work on the head, and I love how the eyes are red. The guy who designed this, you know, the characters for the show, you know, red eyes on this bluish white body. Man, they just crazy pop. Now it's time to just add the head on there, and I'm just going to set it there. I'm not going to spray anything on it. I'm going to let it go. Now here are those wings that we sanded till they were translucent. Now I'm using the same translucent uh, lacquer on here, and I had to give it several, several coats to actually like give it this tint, but you can now still see through the wings, but it's got that really cool transparent look. Now, it was a little tricky for me to put these wings on, and I'll tell you why. It's something you want to be careful with, too. When I was standing this, I snapped off the keys. I snapped off the pegs that went into these little holes. So I added a lot of glue. I had a hole that you can see here. I had to balance it a little bit to make sure that uh, it would stay there. Hit it with that accelerant. This is where the accelerant really, really comes in handy because it would just lock it in place right off the bat. So try not to break those pegs, but know that you can still put it together if you do, because I broke every single one of them. Now, doing the wings this way was totally worth it. Spending the time, again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, look at the previous video where I show how I get these things to be translucent like this. It took a while. It was murder on my hands. If you remember correctly, I'm falling apart, right? I'm getting older. I've got arthritis now. So it took forever and it hurt, but it was worth it. We suffer for our craft. And if you want to print these out again, take a look over my website, 3dprinterprops.com. 30% off all month, all Pride Month. And if you're interested in what I use to paint or glue or put these things together, the resins, the printers, you can find those links below in the description. They are affiliate links. If you click on them, though, and buy something or buy something else, you do help out the channel. All I end up buying is more resin and more stuff to make these things. But um, what else would I buy, right? <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later, and have a great day.